When you delve into Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez's endorsement of Joe Biden, a whirlwind of emotions and complexities unfold. Has spoken to the president over the weekend. I have spoken with him extensively. He made clear then, and he has made clear since, that he is in this race. The matter is closed. He had reiterated that this morning. He has reiterated that to the public. Joe Biden is our nominee. He is not leaving this race. He is in this race, and I support him. Now, what I think is critically important right now is that we focus on what it takes to win in November, because he is running against Donald Trump, who is a man with 34 felony convictions that has been com that has committed 34 felony crimes. And not a single Republican has asked for Donald Trump to not be the nominee. I'm here to win on this democracy. I'm here to win in November. And what's critically important is what the president, I believe, that the president needs to do, and I have communicated this, what, what the president and the White House should, should do in order to make sure that we win in November. And that is making sure that we pivot and working uh, and, and increasingly commit to the issues that are critically important to working people across this country. How are we going to expand Medicare? How are we going to expand Social Security? How are we going to, we, how are we going to provide relief to people's rent and mortgages? And if we can do that, and, and continue our work on student loans, secure a ceasefire, and bring those dollars back into investing in public policy, then that's how we win in November. That's what I'm committed to, and that's what I want to make sure that we but secure. But what do you say to members say right they now? to see more from the president? Well, that is, that is all up to their own individual you know, uh, determination. I respect everyone's opinion, but I'm here to make sure that we win in November, and that's my focus. And what about young voters? What about Despite the swirling storm of criticism surrounding Biden's cognitive abilities and leadership skills, AOC's steadfast loyalty remains unshaken. This unwavering support often appears as a testament to party allegiance, overshadowing the critical evaluation of a leader's true performance. This phenomenon, where loyalty trumps honest assessment, paints a picture of partisan leadership willing to ignore Biden's flaws solely to secure a victory against Donald Trump. It speaks volumes about the intricate dance between authenticity, personal responsibility, and unwavering political commitments. AOC's remarks resonate as a powerful declaration of loyalty, highlighting her determination to stand by Biden despite his shortcomings. Her stance underscores a deep commitment to her political ideals and position, illustrating the complex interplay between alliance and personal benefit. Yet this also raises the pressing need for honest self-reflection and transparency in leadership. It's crucial to confront uncomfortable truths and make decisions rooted in a clear-eyed understanding of reality. Her comments have a profound impact on the collective public psyche and the stability of both political and personal realms. We must grasp how criticisms of Biden's leadership influence public trust in the Democratic Party's ability to address critical issues. AOC's unwavering support shapes voter behavior, especially among those who prioritize integrity and capability in their leaders. Public reactions to her statements ripple through the political discourse, revealing the nuanced effects of her words. Even amidst concerns about Biden's performance, one can critique how the narrative of unwavering loyalty evokes empathy across various societal strata. This rhetoric's effectiveness, however, risks deepening political divides while striving to maintain public support. The implications of leadership competence and loyalty are profound. We must meticulously examine how political leaders balance loyalty with the demand for effective governance and how this balance shapes public perception of a leader's authenticity and capacity to meet their responsibilities.